We warned you that something was wrong. According to some estimates, we cannot track $2.3 trillion in transactions. That investigations were needed. Amazing, incredible picture word for the third time today. That our liberties were under attack. That the very fabric of our republic was being ripped apart. Report suspicious activity. And as a nation, we turned our back on our values, our principles, and our moral obligations. We allowed torture, we encouraged war, and we slept well as our nation was raped. Will you tell the American people to whom you lent 2.2 trillion of their dollars? Hundreds and hundreds of banks, any bank or that has uh, access to the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve's discount. You tell us who they are. No. Now, the day of reckoning is nearly upon us, and still, we warn you. We're heading for a hyperinflationary depression. This is the madness of a lost society. Final warnings. Well, we're heading for hyperinflation. The hard choices should have been made years ago. The Federal Reserve is borrowing $100 billion every 30 days. You could cut every penny of government spending, except for Social Security and Medicare and you'd uh, still be in deficit. The end game is everybody has zero purchasing power currency. Does this scare you? It ought to scare the pants off of you. The U.S. will be defaulting on its debt in the next five years because the numbers are so staggering. The world is going to go into a hyperinflationary depression everywhere. We have to have the deficit under control now if we want to avoid a hyperinflation. It's not going to happen. And there will be a global run to hard assets, and it has already begun. I'm not saying this to scare you. Quite to the contrary. The government doesn't have the ability to raise taxes to, to pay for its needs, so what it does is it prints money. It gives you inflation, eventually a hyperinflation. The U.S. dollar becomes worthless. I want you to prepare and spare yourself heartache and save your dinner table. That's the only reason I'm telling you these things, not to keep you awake at night. My contention now is that we're beyond control, we're beyond containment. The world has never seen what's going, what they're going to see. People ask me this, well, you know, when is it all going to start? When the, the question I ask you in return is, what's it going to take for you to notice it's happening? There's nothing they can do to prevent a hyperinflation here at a, an ultimate economic collapse. They know it. The elite want America to collapse. I have been told this. They're just buying time. They're trying to push uh, the bad news off as far as they can into the future. Would you like to know exactly what's going to happen so that you can spare your assets? Because the fact of the matter is, um, it's already unraveling. The deficit of four to five trillion. Let's say the government wanted to resolve the issue with taxes. It could raise uh, personal income taxes to take 100% of individual income, it could take 100% of corporate profits, and you'd still be in deficit. If you look at the price of silver, for example, the low in silver was around $7 an ounce during the 08 crisis. Silver recently touched $30. There is no explanation for the move in silver outside of a global move away from the dollar. And that is absolutely happening. It's happening right now. As interest rates rise, the interest expense goes up, causing a bigger deficit, causing the government to borrow more, causing the Federal Reserve to do additional quantitative easing, further debasing the dollar and ultimately meaning higher gold and silver prices. The dollar is going to have a severe sell-off at some point here. A panic sell-off and uh, along with that you're going to see a sharp spike in that. Precious metals as they tend to preserve the uh, purchasing power of, of the dollars that, uh, that go into them. The how-to stuff is actually pretty simple. You want to own uh, energy, agriculture, and sound money. He said, get out of anything that is paper. Now, do you realize what that means? Uh, unfortunately, my, my experience has been people won't take simple steps to protect themselves because they can't imagine the future changing as much as it's going to. You've got to make preparations right now. This quantitative easing official debasement of the U.S. dollar is uh, beginning to have its effect. If you look at the amount of money that's been created over the last five years, to accomplish a 10% gold-backed currency, the price of gold would have to be around $10,000 an ounce. There's nothing they can do that's going to turn this economy around. Shy of shutting down the entitlement system, there's nothing they're going to do to prevent the hyperinflation. Believe me, they're going to make you pay through the nose. They're going to make you pay in ways you haven't even imagined yet. Again, watch out for panic selling of the dollar, because that's going to uh, going to trigger all sorts of unpleasant realities. 
people realize the, the end is getting near. How big does America's annual budget deficit have to get before you begin to question the sovereignty of the government? How much total debt can the economy hold before you begin to question whether or not it can be repaid? How high do the price of gold and silver have to go before you realize that something is already happening? How many new rules and restrictions on trade, and capital, and finance will have to be implemented before you finally realize that you're screwed? We are now living on borrowed time, and because America has turned its back on what made it great, we are now about to reap what we have sown, and your time to prepare for the economic storm that is coming is almost out. Thanks for watching The Madness of a Lost Society. Final warnings.